Hi. Hi. You know I'm always filming. <laughs> Watch your step right here. Can't see that stair very well. So I get a notice with a photo of these bunnies on on an app. This girl found these three bunnies in her neighborhood walking around. They're they're babies and she says in her little note, she says, I'm, I'm gonna keep them, but she knows nothing about bunnies. I mean, I immediately started texting with her about you need to know what sex they are, because if there's three of them and there's boys and girls, they, they can have babies. You need to find out if they're healthy. You need to find out, if, are they spayed and neutered? I said, please bring them to me. Let me help you, let me help you. I think I wrote it 10 times, please. And everyone else on the post was saying, take them to Vicky. Let her help you, let her help you. But for one week, I, I got no responses. In the meantime, someone else gets on here and says, uh, I want one of those bunnies, I'll take one of those bunnies. And I'm like, please don't give the bunnies to anybody, at least not for free. You don't know if they're gonna be, end up being snake food because people are always looking for live food for their snakes and they're happy to take them off your hands and tell you they're gonna be their pets and don't do it, don't do it. And I mean, I'm just, I'm having anxiety about all this stuff. After a week, one of them died, and she realized that she's not, you know, she's not able to do this. She doesn't know what, what to do with them. And so then she finally brings me these two bunnies, and there's now two left. And when I get them, I realize that they're not even, they're probably two weeks old. It looks like their eyes have just opened, which happens at about 10 to 14 days. And they are, you know, they're, they don't look well, and they have had no mother's milk now for a week, so she got them when they were a week old. I have them at about two weeks old, and they need mommy's milk for six weeks. Yeah, I don't know if these guys are gonna make it. I, I have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. This is why it's so important to get bunnies spayed and neutered. Well, these bunnies will now cost me, that now that I have them and I'm responsible for them, they're gonna cost me about six to eight hundred dollars each if they're girls to spay or four to five hundred dollars to neuter because we don't have low cost anymore here in LA nobody wants to do it anymore and then it's going to cost me money to get them healthy to buy them goat milk and I have to I have to buy colostrum thirty dollars a bottle of colostrum were they just dropped off today they were just dropped off today this morning Gosh, they are so small. They're tiny. Oh my gosh. And look at the nose on face on this one is not well. Which one? This little one. Look at his nose is all dark and his eyes all messed up and What's wrong with his nose? I don't know. Is it just a spot? Okay. Have they been eating their hay? I mean, this age bunny doesn't eat hay. It only eats mommy's milk. So, I mean, I don't know if they're eating the hay. They did drink the goat milk that they were given today. I don't even know if they're eating the pellets because the pellets are all still there. Really, all they need is goat milk and I'm gonna be feeding them, syringe feeding them, the goat milk right now, two or three times a day so that they, you know, just get what they would be getting from their mommy and hopefully that will, that will do it. So they took the goat milk? Yeah, see it was in that little dish there. See how it's empty? Oh, they must be so hungry. So I am gonna feed them. usually lie on their backs like this 
and push up on the mother's tummy to get the milk out. But when the person's doing it, it's very dangerous to get it near their nose, which is right above the mouth. So, no, we don't want your nose. They're so eager to drink. So you can see already that the teeth of this bunny are not perfect. He's got little top teeth. They're, first of all, they're very brown, which they're usually little white teeth, but the top teeth, how they're jagged, and although they are over the bottom teeth, they're, they don't look healthy. That could cause problems for the rest of his life, which will make him difficult to adopt. I actually called to get them into the vet today because they should go immediately and <laughs> I couldn't get an appointment because vets, they're so booked up these days, it's hard to get appointments. I have to call in the morning to find out for sure if they're gonna get them in tomorrow. So, I mean, I will get them in as soon as I can. We've got a bunny heating pad. <laughs> oh, that's Hello. cute. Love it. We're gonna heat that up. Let's see for... It's an herbal one. Let me put it in for one. I dread coming down in the morning and thinking that they might be dead when I wake up in the morning. I just, it's a horrible, horrible feeling. I have a feeling they're gonna survive. I have a feeling. I'm praying that they do. They're in really good hands and they seem to be happy. They, despite they, they their are perky. Despite their shortcomings. Yeah, they are perky little little that guys. That smells really good. Isn't it? Is that... It's some kind of herbs. Oh, it smells like cupcakes or something. Because I don't want them to get too hot. And then it goes in here. They're just like under the covers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Little guys. Maybe it might be two more. Maybe not. I don't know why I want them to be so warm. Get it there, yeah. <laughs> oh, see, that's more like it. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're happy there. Like that. Yeah, they're comfy there. I'm going to put some more milk down here. I can't believe humans actually buy goat milk and drink it. Why would anybody want to drink that? I don't like it either. What does it smell like? Actually, it's... Mm. It's like know. almost a little sour smell, but you no, know, a lot of people love goat milk. It's probably healthier. Okay. Mm. 